Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Hello, my little friend. Just a quick reminder, if you want to be in the cat club, talk to your guardian or your parents and make sure that you go to the link down below to become a patron so that you get your first three exclusive Heidi Cherry and Vea stories on the 7th of this month. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're lying down and you're comfortable, you're relaxed and everything is just right in your room. Let go of your day. This is your time to be still, to meditate. Take a nice, big, deep breath and calm down your body. Breathe out your breath. Ah, time to relax. It was a super, super, ridiculously hot day. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were hanging out with her friends, Alana and Annabelle. Alana and Annabelle were sisters and they come over to just hang out and play and do whatever they could do to have fun with the cats. The problem was it was so hot outside they didn't know what to do with themselves. Alana said, why don't we do a slip and slide? Cherry said, OMG, Alana, that's an absolutely amazing idea. Annabelle said, make sure that we all put sun cream on. Vea said, mm-hmm, me thinks that's very smart because... You know, when it's really hot outside like this, we all need to protect ourselves from the sun. It's nice to get vitamin D from the sun because that makes us healthy, but we don't want to get sunburnt. Heidi said, I'll go get the sun cream, make sure everybody's lathered up with sun cream. Maybe we should all put sunglasses on to protect our eyes. And most importantly, our bathing suits. Everyone got dressed and ready before they went outside. They all had a bottle of water to stay hydrated because I am not kidding, it was so hot. Summertime had definitely come. It didn't take them very long to set up the slip and slide. Heidi made sure to put lots and lots and lots of dishwashing soap on the slide so they slipped and there were bubbles starting to form everywhere. Cherry said, Oh, I'm so excited. It's been like forever since we've done this. The nice thing about winter is it's winter and you know, snow's nice and you know, like holidays and Christmas is nice and you know, it's really nice when everything starts to melt and snow goes away and then you start to get all those beautiful spring flowers coming up like tulips and butterflies and, and, and rainbows and, 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 and all all that nice stuff starts to happen because the sun is starting to come out and that everything in spring is started to spring and, and be sprung and, and, and bloom and grow and it's all like new life and it's really, really nice. But summer, summer, I think, is my favourite of all the four seasons. I like summer because everybody seems to be more happy when there's lots of sunshine. I know there's a really lot of sunshine today and it's so hot. But, you know, you can do all sorts of nice things in the sun. You can go to the beach. You can play on the beach. You can make, like, you know, sandcastles and you can play in the ocean because it's not so, so cold. You, what else can you do? You can go skateboarding when it's nice and warm outside. You can roll a blade when it's nice and warm outside. Uh, you can play like water bombs and you can bomb each other with water and chase each other. That one's always fun. Uh, what else can you do? You can sunbathe if you want to and get a nice summer tan. You know, sometimes I go from like a, a, a gingery ginger to like more of a goldeny brown ginger. Uh, yeah, 
about what else you can uh, anyway yeah i like the slide i like the soup oh yeah you can go to the park when it's nice and warm can anybody else think of anything you can do in the summer that you can't really do in the winter Freya said you can you can play dress up outside and everyone can get dressed up and wear different outfits and and your outfits can be summer outfits whereas if you do dress up outside in the winter you're always cold and normally it just is like a scarf and a hat and maybe a rain mac so yeah you can dress up outside that's always nice Heidi said you can play a lot more games outside for sure when it's summertime than when it when it's winter time when it's winter time it's more like you know cards and dominoes and monopoly and things like that inside you don't really play outside Alana and Annabelle said, We agree, we prefer summer. So, who's going to go first down the slide? said Alana. You girls can go first, said Cherry. You can try it out and see what it's like, because you're a little bit bigger than us, and you know, we you been people and all. And if you slide really, 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 really fast, and you're bigger than us, then I think we might be sliding too fast. But we'll see, we'll see, because you know, the smaller you are, you think you'd just zip on by on that thing, wouldn't you? So, you know, were well, you being bigger and, and, and slightly heavier because, you know, you're bigger than us, then we'll see, we'll let you guys test it out. Annabelle went first. She screamed a lot and laughed a lot and got to the bottom of the slide, covered in bubbles and water. She put two thumbs up at the bottom of the slide, which was way, 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 way down the garden, by the way. That made a very, very long slipping slide. With the two thumbs up, everyone thought, just assumed, that it would be okay. Vea went next. Vea screamed awfully a lot. Like a, a lot, a lot. Like a lot. And then when she got to the bottom, she was absolutely drenched and covered in bubbles. And she looked a little bit shocked, a little bit scared, and a little bit perturbed. But she managed to put one thumb up. Cherry looked at Heidi at the top of the hill and said, Are you sure this is safe? Vea looks a little bit disturbed. Look at her. She looks like she's gone through some kind of car wash. Oh my gosh, that would be absolutely amazing to do in the summer. Can you imagine if you were a car and you went through like one of those car wash machines and you got like scrubbed up and waxed and polished and they, they, they scrubbed your paws like they were tyres and then and then you got covered in bubbles, rainbow bubbles. Oh yeah, that'd be absolutely amazing. Yeah, anyway, I think I might go next. Is that all right, Heidi? Is that all right, Alana? Alana said yes. Heidi said yes. Vea still looked absolutely drenched and drowned, like she'd been through the car wash at the bottom of the hill. Cherry took one big, brave gulp. Mm. All right, I'm ready. I think I can do it. I'm going to. I'm going to go for it. In fact, I'm going to be so brave. I'm going to go head first. Yeah. I'm going to be the first one to go ahead first because I'm going to let you know that I'm really brave and I'm going to show you all how to do it and I'm going to show you how wild and furiously fun I am. She jumped on the slipping slide head first and zoomed off so fast. Heidi looked at Alana very concerned. Alana got really big eyes and looked back at Heidi, very concerned. Cherry screamed one big giant scream the whole way down. <laughs> Until eventually she got to the bottom and flew off the end up in the air as if she was doing some kind of BMX trick on a bike or something and she was just mid-air zooming like a giant bat with a paws all stretched out in the X shape just flying through the sky like a flying squirrel she was <laughs> the scream kept going on and on and on 
until eventually she landed in a tree. Heidi was very concerned. Cherry, are you all right? Cherry, after coughing and spluttering, lifted up her head. Heidi could barely see her. And then all of a sudden, two thumbs up. Heidi looked at Lana and said, Seems like she's fine. Do you want to go down together? Alana and Heidi sat down at the top of the slide, did it the normal way, just sitting up, pushed off, and zoom. They went down the slide as if they were on a sled going down a hill in the middle of the snow, faster and faster and faster and faster, until eventually they got to the bottom and finished the slip and slide. Very normal. Nothing as dramatic as Cherry's event. But they still had a lot of fun. Cherry climbed her way down out of the tree. She was very proud of herself. Did you see that? Did you see I was flying? I was flying through the sky like a like a squirrel, like a flying squirrel or, or like a like an eagle. I was flying through the sky like a giant eagle. Oh, it was like the bestest thing ever. It was like the bestest, 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 bestest slip and slide ride I have ever, ever had. Who's going to do it? Who's going to try it? I think we should all do it. Let's all agree right now as we're walking back up this hill. Let's all agree that we're going to do it. We're going to all try it head first. It's so much fun, guys. It's so much fun. The guys spent quite a few hours playing on the slipping slide that day. It was a lot of fun. They got so covered in bubbles. They got bubbles on top of bubbles in places on the bodies where they would have never, ever, ever, ever expected bubbles. Bubbles got absolutely everywhere. They didn't stop until they were all pruned. The fingers were all puckered and pruned like when you stay in the bath too long. The toes have got all pruned. The cat's paws were pruned, the noses were pruned, the tails were drenched. It was awesome. It was like the best day to slip and slide. And because they had the sun cream on, they didn't burn. And because they were wearing the glasses, which I must admit didn't stay on very long because they get covered in bubbles and then they couldn't see a thing. It was like going down the slip and slide, completely blinded, like a blind rat, a blind mole rat. Can you imagine? Covered in bubbles and then flying off the end like a giant eagle or a flying squirrel. Landing in the tree and then ascending to do it one more time. It was awesome. They had the bestest summer sunshine, hot, so, so, so hot outside kind of day that they'd had since last summer. Eventually, the girls, Alana and Annabelle, went home. The cats all went and got cleaned up, got snuggled on their beds in their towels. They were exhausted. Up and down the garden, up and down the tree, up and down the garden, up and down the tree, over and over and over for like five hours. What a day, said Cherry. That was absolutely amazing. Bestest slip and slide ever, Heidi. Good job with all those bubbles. They were like the bestest bubbles. The slidiest, slippiest bubbles ever. What? Oh, it was just the best. It was just the bestest. They said, me agrees. Me had, a re- oh, me had a really good time, Heidi. Heidi smiled and closed her eyes. Pulled in her sisters really close. They all started to purr like they were snoring and then fell fast asleep out like a light. The end.